So my vCenter server is running now. I have started it. And now let's try to access my vCenter server. Okay, uh, for the purpose of this demo, I have removed the certificate again. Uh, you can check from my same certificate. I, I have to remove it because as long as it's there, it will, it will understand the certificate. So it will not complain. So I have, I'm removing the certificate just for this demo. And normally you will not be always accessing your SXI host, right? So you will not have access to this certificate already. So if you have, uh, if you're an administrator, of course you do have, but if you are directly accessing your vCenter server without accessing the SXI, so how to do that? Let's go to the browser and my, I'm browsing, this is my vCenter server. So same advanced and you see the same issues. It is not understanding the certificate, right? So how to do that? How to browse this vCenter server and how to download the certificate directly from the vCenter server. So here I'm in my directory and so VMA certificate and vCenter. So open your terminal and create a browser, uh, create a, a directory, whatever you like. And I'm here just for this demo and wget and go to https 192.168.1.5 slash cert search and download.zip try to get this zip file which is saved in the vCenter server at this location search download.zip and here of course it is asking to add the because it is still here it is checking the certificate so I'll in the command prompt and the terminal I have the option of providing Okay, don't check the certificate. So here, um, wget it. You see, I have downloaded the download zip file. Now unzip this. Unzip, download.zip, and you see there is a search directory created. Go to search. And here, you see there is a Mac for different, different operating system they have different and we have two files present here so i am interested about this particular file you see there is a number always dot number and this is dot r o r zero so i'm interested in only not the r zero i'm interested in dot zero which is a numerical value okay so that file you just import to your keychain so my keychain is still open. Uh, if you want to open your keychain, you can go to here, settings, and go to more, and go to manage certificates. So here, here what you can do is previously I show how to import it. Now you can drag and drop to. Uh, so here I am at the and VMS certificates, vCenter server, search Mac and i'm i can just to drag and drop it drag and drop and you see this is a ca certificate like certificate authority added right click get info trust always trust and close and use your fingerprint or use the password and it's accepted now so now let's go and browse our site same thing just reload it and here is my vCenter server and I'm logging into my vCenter server and here I am like I have already logged in previously so let me log out <coughs> uh, 
okay and this is my vCenter server login I am able to log in I have created my whole set of whole lot of servers are, uh, VMs and this is my vCenter server of course there are different things I do um, this is I yesterday I was trying to install Tanchu the the Kubernetes cluster on the vCenter server uh, on vSphere rather so maybe in my next video I'll uh, so how to implement Tanju, which is the Kubernetes cluster from VMware, how to manage and create Kubernetes management cluster and also the cluster using um, the VMware Tanju. It is um, and that will be of course in my next video and uh, hope this helps and if you have some issues and please let me know and how you feel and if you like this video and uh, please do subscribe to my channel i'll appreciate that thank you very much bye